Today, my administration is launching the most sweeping action in history to lower the price of prescription drugs for the American people. We've wanted to be doing this. We've been working on it right from day one. It's been a complicated process, but not too complicated. And today it's happening. We will have tougher negotiation, more competition, and much lower prices at the pharmacy counter. And it'll start to take effect very soon. My administration has already taken significant steps to get drug prices under control. We reformed the drug discount program for safety net hospitals to save senior citizens hundreds of millions of dollars on drugs this year alone. We're also increasing competition and reducing regulatory burdens so drugs can be gotten to the market quicker and cheaper. We're very much eliminating the middlemen. The middlemen became very, very rich. Right? Whoever those middlemen were, and a lot of people never even figured it out, they're rich. They won't be so rich anymore. and they say, oh, here's your, here's your drug, and it's going to cost you X. The average American is spending, on average, 23% more than they have to. This has to do with something called pharmacy benefit uh, management systems. They're middlemen that work between the insurance company and the patient and the drugstore. And so what most of us are habituated and trained to do is we go to the pharmacy, we hand them our prescription, they and we hand them our insurance card. And they come back and say, okay, your insurance copay is 10, 20, 30, 50, whatever it is. There are usually brackets on most people who have copays. Mm -hmm. uh, for many of those drugs, especially in the category one, category two copay domains, cost less to you, the, the buyer, if you pay cash. But the contract that the pharmacy has with the benefits management company does not allow the pharmacist to tell you that. They have a gag order in the contract. And many of the drug companies uh -huh. are now increasing the prices of those particular drugs so that they can make yet more money. Right. You know, they're charging the pharmacies more for the same drug than they did two years ago. They've been playing a shell game. They charge you more they actually, the insurance company does, they pay the, the, the pharmacy less and they pay these other companies a, a fee, but they still make more profit per pill that you have to take. It's shocking, it's disgusting, it's dangerous, and it's legal. So it ought to be illegal. Congress ought to pass a law, outlaw the, these gag orders on what are called the clawback contracts mm -hmm. that pharmacies and pharmacy benefit managers have between them. The gag order is the one that says your pharmacist can't say to you, oh, it's going to cost you $10, but if you want to pay cash, it's only going to cost you 6 They can't do that by law, by contract. <laughs>